Ellen DeGeneres. Swag. 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 Ellen DeGeneres. What's up YouTube? Do all day here coming at you with this commentary video. And in this video I want to talk about the Canadian economy. I want to talk about the upcoming elections and I want to talk about gas prices in North America. No, I'm just playing. I'm not going to talk about that stuff. Uh I just wanted to make this video um because I was bored and I love making these YouTube videos. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um I'm learning as I go and uh it's just everything about this is just super fun to me. Uh, this is Halo Reach. It's this gameplay is from within the first week of its launch. I had it on my hard drive, um, and I just thought you know it's pretty entertaining. So yeah, um, I'm not gonna spoil it, but it's a free for all on Asylum. Three people quit, so it was me versus like five people, and everyone sucked except for me. But I was still a noob the first week. I kind of wanted to make this video to talk about um, someone that has been a very positive figure in my life someone that has taken care of me when I've uh, been bored someone that has entertained me, made me laugh, made me smile made me cry I'm joking, I never cried but um, but I wanted to talk about Ellen DeGeneres uh, don't know <laughs> how many of my 18 subscribers watch Ellen but if, if you don't, you're missing out man she keeps it real. Like, Ellen DeGeneres, if you ever watch this video, you keep it real. Um, she's just so funny. She's a, if you guys don't know, if you guys don't know who Ellen DeGeneres is, I don't know who wouldn't know who Ellen DeGeneres is. But she was a stand-up comic, and then she later um, started her own talk show, daytime talk show. And uh, Jennifer Aniston was her the first guest on her show. And uh, every day what she does is she comes out, She the fans are all like, oh, Ellen, yeah, clap, clap. And they all scream, and Ellen's like, oh, I send it right back at you, haha, <laughs> whatever. And then she does her monologue, which always makes me laugh, and it's always relevant, and, you know, timing is perfect. Uh, and then she dances, which is my favorite part. She dances through the audience, which is something that, you know, people don't do on television. Television is like, I hate watching the news, because the news is always so negative. Ellen DeGeneres is my news show, if that makes sense. Like, I instead of reading them or watching the morning news, I watch Ellen DeGeneres in the afternoon. I watch her show around three o'clock every day when I come back from school, and it always just makes my day a little bit better. Um, it's, and then no, I'm not exaggerating. Her show is like, is this something you can just watch and you just relax and stuff? And then she brings on, I didn't to continue. She brings on like a couple of guests. Um, it's awesome when I know who the guests are. But if I don't know who they are, then it's still interesting to see who these wankers are. But, um, yeah, I've been watching Ellen since, I think, the second grade? Her show is awesome, man. Um, nothing more really to it. Um, her and Jimmy Kimmel are the only talk show hosts that I'll actually, you know, watch their show. Because Jimmy Kimmel... He is so funny, man. And he keeps it real, too. The reason why I don't like Jimmy Fallon is because he's so fake. His laugh is the fakest shit ever. Like, the guests, guests always say something that isn't funny. And then Jimmy Fallon's like, ha, 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 so, da, 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 da. And then he, like, laughs super loud. And he, like, bangs his desk with his hand and shit. And it's like, dude, come on, man. How fake is that shit? Jimmy Kimmel, like, you'll go on a show and he'll roast you. And then you'll tell him funny stories and he'll start laughing. Jimmy Kimmel's a man. Jimmy Kimmel, in my eyes, runs nighttime um, television, and Ellen runs daytime television. There was a time where uh, Ellen didn't have a DJ. Um, the Tony Tony guy left to pursue his own projects, and then she never had a DJ for a while. She just used to have guest DJs, and I tweeted at her like so many times in all caps to get her attention. I'd be like, let me be your DJ or your janitor. I'll drop out of school or whatever, and unfortunately, she never read them and never brought me to her show. So that's kind of disappointing, but um, man, she's one of the people I want to meet one day, and I want to go on her show before she retires, uh, either as a guest, you know what I'm saying, or like uh, in the audience. Um, and Jimmy Kimmel also, uh, Jimmy Kimmel, super funny guy. Uh, I remember when Rob Ford, the Toronto mayor, went on a show. Jimmy Kimmel just roasted the shit out of him. Rob Ford is like sweating, his face was all red and shit. Uh, so it was super fun, super funny.
like I said before, the re one of the reasons why I like Ellen is because she keeps it real. Like, you know how Justin Bieber was doing all that stupid shit? And a lot of people were giving politically correct answers, like, oh, he's just a kid, blah, blah, blah. Which is true, to be honest. He's just a... I mean, but he was caught for egging houses and smoking weed. Doesn't everyone do that when they're teenagers? Except, you know, our lives aren't televised and... Um, in the public eye and we don't have paparazzi following us everywhere. He is kind of a dick, to be honest, but that's a whole nother discussion. But like everyone was being like, oh yeah, he's just a kid, you know. But then Ellen was straight up saying, he's being an idiot. Like, what is he doing? He's talented and stuff like that. And, uh, but he's being an idiot. And then when he went on the show, like, you'd think that she wouldn't say anything, but she straight up said, like, I don't know what the hell you were doing, but you were doing some weak ass shit, JB. Just cut that shit out and he was like i and then he released a video of him like in the dark fucking knew i'm uh that's not the guy I was whatever jb you fucking you fucking baggy anyways um i think that that about wraps it up for this oh shit my garage is open my floor is vibrating um that about wraps it up for this video ellen DeGeneres, i think you're awesome I love your show. You did the best job at the Oscars. I will never watch another Oscar show unless Ellen DeGeneres is hosting. I'm sorry, Neil Patrick Harris, but I did not watch your sh Oscar show because that shit was weak. Ellen was the best Oscar host I've ever seen. The best just award host. She was funny. She was uh, funny. And she was funny. And she brought out pizza. I thought that was awesome. Um, I don't watch the Oscars anymore because I thought Interstellar should have been nominated, but whatever. That's stupid. I mean, like, the, the Academy thinks, like, only, like, dramas and shit should be nominated. Interstellar was, like, a life-changing movie, man. That movie was a shit. How does that not get nominated? And Leo DiCaprio doesn't get nominated for anything. But then again, if you think about it, if you if you really think about it, all his characters are, are the same, aren't they? It's just him playing a rich guy with some stupid-ass accent. Gatsby. Inception, I forgot. I watched it on the plane going to India. Um... Uh, Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, I didn't watch Dallas Buyers Club, but I assume that Matthew McConaughey deserved it more than Leo DiCaprio. I don't really give a shit about Leo DiCaprio, to be honest. It's pretty funny that he hasn't won an award yet. But anyways, that's uh, that's it for this video. I'm out. Peace.